digging in this hole, right? You digging in this hole and uh, you're digging deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. And then it's, you find out, oh God, this is not a good spot. So you get out of that spot and then you go find you another hole. Then for you know, you're, the whole area that you weren't trying to dig the holes in, you got a million of them. Now you got to do what? Go start patching them back up so you can have a ground again, right? Because somebody walks inside of that big, all those holes and ditches that you've pulled, they're going to fall in, right? And then there's what? It's going to be drama. So what you need to do now is think about the hazard that you're causing other people when you're digging these holes in your life. You have holes in your life. Just trick of the ground as all the different issues and problems. And all inside of these holes are, 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 are bad areas. They're just foul. And somebody comes and they enter into your life and what do they do? What do they do? They fall in one of them holes. You got to be mindful of how you are operating in your life. And when you want people to come on your come on ground on your grounding area, you got to make sure your grounding area is clear. You can't just be having people coming up in there and they don't know what they're doing. They just coming in. They just happy to be there. Well, la 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 la. And then you looking at them like, yeah, come on in. Not thinking about, oh my God, they're going to fall in one of these holes that I haven't fixed yet. So somebody comes over, they fall in the hole. Now you're panicking. For what? And all you had to do is fix it in the first place. Sometimes your holes may be a lot of trauma you had in your life that you haven't dug and fixed it yet. Haven't patched that part of your life up yet. Maybe you had some uh, debt. You got you got somebody coming in your life and you got full of debt. They're just going to be full of debt with you. You've been sick and you're, you're, not keeps, you don't, you're not healthy. You don't keep yourself up. You know what I'm saying? There are, there are so many things that we can have drama and craziness in our life. And we, you like to fight. You got anger issues. And you just got folks coming in your life. You got a divorce you ain't even finished with yet. You ain't even finished with your divorce. You just out here just dating and talking to people like you just free. <laughs> you got to stop that. You know what I'm saying? Now, they coming up in here and, and they thinking they finna come and have a new life with you and your child they, they run into child support and and and, and uh, back child support issues and or just child support issues period and, and drama with the baby mama and or the drama with the baby daddy or whatever you know and it's just crazy it's just not enough uh time in this world for us to be wasting it on things like that get your get your stuff fixed okay fix your business fix your mess okay fix your mess then invite somebody to come over and make sure that the ground that they walk on is a sturdy one. No more holes, okay? No more digging holes. Just make sure that they all fill before you allow people to enter. Well, this has been a kindness moment from Lady Dr. P, and I will see you guys again on the next round. God bless you. <laughs>